I'm Justin Grubb. And I'm Alex Getz, and we are wildlife filmmakers. We travel the world to get up close to all sorts of incredible wildlife. Our mission is to give you an animal's eye view of their world. film the world's most endangered canid. And since their numbers are so low in the wild, we begin our search from the air. The Red Wolves have a radio collar around their neck that if it's a signal which can be heard from the air with an antenna that's attached to each of the wings of the airplane, this signal allows scientists to get a real-time understanding of where these incredibly endangered animals are hanging out. A single red wolf's range can be large, encompassing several miles of habitat, making them extremely difficult to track. Using data points collected from the airplane, we can begin to pinpoint the wolf's location, which will help us continue our search at the ground level. So we trade our wings for wheels to continue the search for this extraordinary species. On the ground, the technology works the same, but instead, a small handheld antenna is used to pick up the VHF radio signal. Let's see, is here, is here. This antenna is a little bit more accurate and allows biologists to pinpoint the location of the wolf by triangulating its signal. Now you can hear the signal by a little ping coming from the receiver. Can you hear it for a second? And the closer the wolf is, the louder that ping is and you can use that antenna to determine what direction the wolf is in. And we're getting close. If you listen carefully, you can hear the pinging. That's the, uh, the older male. Each wolf has its own unique frequency, which can be dialed in and listened for. Now that we have a better idea of where the wolves are hanging out, we head out and look for more signs to help guide us on where to set up the next stage of the search. Trail cameras give us an incredible opportunity to capture unique behavior as we're not disturbing the animals. By leaving the cameras alone for just a few days, we are hoping to get valuable insight on the secret lives of these wolves. Hey guys, so we are in Alligator River Wildlife Refuge and we are checking our trail cameras because it's been a little while. So, uh, yeah, let's go grab those SD cards and see what kind of wildlife we see. Oh, wow, look at that. Right in broad daylight. That's like one of the first daylight shots we've gotten, I think, of them. Yeah, that is definitely a red wolf. You can tell with that collar and legs. Oh, look how tall it is. I think we got, let's see. I think we got a couple more. Oh, there's another one. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh man, that's a good looking animal. That's amazing. They're so beautiful. And he just runs right off. Looks like we got some deer running by. This is like the most active camera <laughs> trip spot. The deer is one antler. Oh, the wolves are running. I wonder if they're going, they're going the same direction that deer just went. Dude, I think <laughs> he's got something in his mouth that looks kind of like a leg. Dude, they're, <laughs> dude, <laughs> now they got something for sure. I think they got the deer. Is that the head? I think that. Oh, it's got one antler. Oh my God. <laughs> they killed the deer. That's that is so, so cool. Oh that. man. There he is. That's crazy. Well, poor deer, but he fed a whole pack of red wolves. <laughs> that is so cool. That's amazing. The more we watched, the more incredible the footage became. We were beyond words with the behaviors that we were witnessing on the cameras. But on one of our last days out in the field, we experienced a moment like no other, a moment that we will remember for the rest of our lives.
This species was once hunted to the point of being declared extinct in the wild. But against incredible odds, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other conservation organizations stepped in to establish captive populations across the country. By providing the best environment for the remaining wolves to breed naturally, red wolf numbers soon increased. In 1987, new red wolves were released back into the wild. By saving this animal, we are saving the entire web of life that we are all connected to. But the battle is not over. Many misconceptions still stand in the way of the American red wolf flourishing in its native habitat. By supporting the recovery effort, you are supporting one of America's most iconic animals.